Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Yay! Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Excuse me for a minute. <laughs> um, hope you guys are having a very Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time of the year. And despite, um, just re and all of our gatherings and all of our stuff that we get, guys, just to let you know how much that, um, always remember how much, um, God gave up his son to be born here. So let's remember the birth of Jesus. It's, that is the main reason for the season, not gifts, not any of this decorations, not the gatherings, not of this. The main purpose of Christmas season is because of Jesus. So remember that. But anyway, as you can tell by the title, this is my birth, my birthday no my christmas haul na, 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 na. um just for one you guys this is not me bragging this is not me saying oh look what i got i genuinely just love making hauls and showing you guys so if i tell you what i've got please don't be envious please no this is not bragging any at any sort so um i got a variation of stuff some stuff you will not see because um, it's money. I got money. And I'm not going to disclose how much money I've gotten. I've just been very generous and very blessed by my clients, my grandparents. Everyone's been very nice this year. And I am so blessed. So I thank God for this. Um, all my money is going to savings. I am not spending it unless it's absolutely necessary or find something to invest in. So, just so you know. So I got a few gift cards as well, which... That is going towards my dollhouse that I'm going to be finally working on this winter or spring to its finish, to its magnificent self. And speaking of which, I got some furniture and a little family for my dollhouse. So I'm so excited. I love miniature anything. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started on that. I haven't opened anything yet. It wasn't supposed to come this early and it's already come. And I'm so blessed. Um, so this is by my from my mom. She bought me some more furniture stuff. So here's our little table and chairs, and it comes with a few things here. Let's open it. I have not opened this y'all yet at all. Oh my goodness! Little tape chairs, aren't they just adorable? This will obviously be in the kitchen. Oh, I love miniature things. And here's the table, and so the chairs would go around the table like so. I'm so excited. I definitely think I'll probably need another more chairs or something, or a bigger table, because I have a huge family compared. Oh, it's more than four people, so we'll see. Here's, of course, the other two chairs, so. So cute. That's out of that. I don't think there's anything else in this box besides a few accessories. So I've got a little... The, oh, it's whisk and a knife and little things for the um, making stuff, stirring things. It's got a little whisk right here and it goes in this little container and it's just so cute. So leave it in the bag for now. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a coffee coffee cup. I don't think you guys can tell, but it's a little coffee cup. And a little coffee mug or coffee cup right there. And yeah, it's a little coffee. Oh my gosh. I don't drink coffee, but apparently my um, little people are going to. Oh, little copper um, pans here. It's very nice. It's actually made out of metal, too. It's interesting. It looks very realistic to me. Ooh little spaghetti and like seasons and stuff oh my gosh isn't that just adorable and that i think that's actual spaghetti noodles it looks real i don't know what the other stuff is sugar salt who knows that is in that one pop the bubbles <laughs> okay so next is the refrigerator oh my goodness it's so cute it looks so realistic looking. Oh my gosh, isn't it cute? 
and you can just stick your stuff in here. I have also, y'all, I also thought of buying, investing in mini brands, and I could put stuff of that in here. If you guys don't know what mini brands is, there's the little freezer drawer comes out. Um, basically, it's like miniature toiletries or groceries things of the actual thing. And oh my gosh, I've been wanting excuse to just come out. No. But it's got a little water thing as well, but excuse to actually buy many brands, and I do. Since I'm new in my dollhouse, mom can't get on me and say, why are you getting that? Uh, because of my dollhouse. That is why. Yeah. And then here is the oven and the counters. So I actually have a counter space as well for them as well. So, ooh. Here's the corner cupboard you can tell and then if they got like a lazy susan they got drawer space in these little areas i don't know what i'm gonna stick in there that looks very tight it's like you could stick stuff in there but it's like i don't know what i'm gonna stick in there and then if i do it's probably gonna get stuck i don't know if i'm gonna actually put anything in that here's the oven and they're so cute. Obviously, it doesn't heat up, but you know, that's cute. So cute. I love a I was just in love with this all. It's another counter top thing. Voila. I can actually put stuff in this. And this actually has a drawer. <gasps> Interesting. Is this a sink? Please tell me this is a sink. Yes, it is. Okay. It's like, this should have a sink and I have to actually put the faucets in. But there's a sink. The faucets will go in here. And then, is that open? Okay, that one doesn't open. But this one does. Voila. So I'll symbol that later. So that is the kitchen. As amazing as it is, I love how it's just pure white. And I'm thinking the kitchen should have white and gray. My mom suggested yellow and I thought about painting it yellow, but I don't know if I really want it to be yellow, so we'll see. See how things go, depending what type of paint I have. And so I'm going to show you guys the family that I have. So, okay, there's a glare, I'm sorry about that. There's a mom, there's a dad, there's a grandma, and a grandpa. There's a little girl here, a little boy. There's a toddler, which is a girl. And there's twins, a boy and a girl, so... So, and they're all brunette, which homegirl's a brunette too, so that's good. Welcome to the newest family on the block with mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, and all the kids. This fun loving family is ready for playtime anytime with movable parts. Sweet little family figures can sit, stand, kneel, and bend as they go to school, stop by the office, and go on adventures with the whole family. So I'm glad this is not so generic looking, and they are actually are generally bendable and stuff because I don't like when they look artificial and there was other families that were just like wooden. That's good for older or younger kids but I am as an adult would rather have something more like a figurine. So this said it's just three plus man that excludes me, right? <laughs> her glory and they bend sit as you can tell there's the mom she looks she's got so much detail on these things too there's the dad so much detail I love it there's the grandma focus there we go that's grandma I like how they include grandma and grandpa as well so nice. And they, oh my goodness, they match. They're just opposites. <laughs> That's interesting. Here's the older kids. Can't tell if these are twins or if the girl's old. I don't know. Here's the older kids, boy and the girl. And here's the little toddler, the middle child. And then here's the twin babies, which Y'all, I haven't gotten everything for these family. I just started out. And so I have to get 
a lot of beds for these these families. So I need to figure out that little situation. So put these back later. But I'll just stick them in this thing here. Ooh, one of the babies got away. Oh no, little girl got away. And she, my mom also bought. So I've got a dog here, I've got a cat and a rabbit. So every family needs a pet. Why choose one when you can have all three? Why not, right? Thank you for choosing happy. It's a different language. Okay, it comes in this weird shaped carton thing that looks like a sandcastle. Ooh. Now these are wooden, I don't mind this, being wooden animals that is. I do have other dogs and stuff, so if I wanted to add more to the house, I can. As far as animals, I have plenty of those. This was very generous, here's the rabbit house. And then you can stick the rabbit, if I can find the rabbit. It even says rabbit on it. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be right back because my battery's dying, so we'll just be right back. Oh, thank goodness for extra batteries, and I'm so glad I have extras. But anyway, here is the rabbit and its little hut. <laughs> it's so cute. So, and then it comes with, I think it comes with a bowl or something like that. Ugh. Yeah, it comes with a bowl and a carrot. And it's using primary colors, it's so cute. Hang on a second as I put this together. Make this go a little bit faster. Oh gosh, a little bit faster maybe. Rabbit, and then it has a little yellow bowl. The carrot. <laughs> now, next is the cat. Here's the kitty cat. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah. And then it comes with a little blue bowl with the fish, because cats like fish. And this one is called Fido, but it's a doggy. <gasps> Isn't it cute? Little dog dog. And it comes with a bowl with a dog bone. So, so their bowls match their little huts here. They're so cute. I love little miniature stuff. It's just, I love putting my sets together. So, next but not last is this ultimate furniture set which will probably be in with the um, kids section um, this has a bedroom kitchen living room set and all this will be with the kids section because it kind of looks primary for little kids stuff Ooh, why they had to put tape on here and this for scissors don't you like stickers and you can child proof or Chelsea proof. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna peel off instead? Okay. I didn't want to cut it because I thought it was squirt that little thing, so. Let's see what we've got here. Looks like the table and chairs set. And yep, yeah, this cute little table right here. Oh, this is the lamp. <laughs> oh my gosh, isn't that cute? It has a little drawstring. But yeah, it's cute. This button is this. Uh, well, it's a TV. Flat screen at that. <laughs> Uh, there's a pillow. 
here is what is this? Is this supposed to be for the TV? Yeah, it's a little TV for the TV. Goes like that. Or la TV stand. That's what it's called. Um, let's see. And then oh, here's the couch. Okay. Um, if you want to know what's brand, it's Dragon Drew. So then put the cushion like this. Or you can put it down like that, however you want to do it. Either way, it's so cute. And I figured the kids would have could have this set upstairs because I don't want this set for the adults. Okay, here's couches with there's pink pillows. Cushions, if you want to call it, you can have it as so, or you can put it like that. But either way, it's so cute. They're very flat to the ground, so <laughs> very to the ground. Okay, that's the first layer. So that, I guess that's the living room set. Hmm, is this the kitchen set? Because the red is the, this is a yellow set, so I'm assuming this is the kitchen set. Oh, is this a fr fridge maybe? Mini fridge? This looks like the oven sink area. Oh, isn't that cute? Let's actually got drawers. Yeah, this looks like something like the little kids would want, not for like the adults. This looks too short for like the adults. Say, so, you know, I mean, hello, that's kind of short, you know, but for the kids, especially, I don't know if that can be you know, small enough for them. Falling over. Slide that over a bit. Just, no, that's the fridge thing. I think that's the fridge. Uh, what is this? Table and chairs? Oh, it's so cute. That's chairs, okay. Little chairs, but there's four of these. <laughs> so, yeah, that would be so cute. Even if I put this downstairs for the the kids, I don't know, they probably still be upstairs. And what is this? Oh, it's a table. This is the table. Yay! Hey, Duke. So that is that. Now it's the bedroom is the next one. Hello, could you open please? <laughs> so much cardboard. Come on now. That's not working. Okay, maybe it did. Alright. Is this a crib? It is a crib. Tiny little crib. It's like a wagon crib. That's interesting. It's movable. I don't know what that would that would not fit the babies at all i mean try i don't think they would well they maybe i only have one i have twins so we'll see okay okay are the jokey it's got a little lamp looks like a mushroom <laughs> Uh, is a dresser that I can open. Nice. Here's a bed. I don't know how comfortable this could be. Cause it's very wooden, but yeah, there's a bed. I don't know if that's just a blanket and then it's the cushion itself. I don't know, cause that would not support my back whatsoever. These are just dolls, so. And what is this? Oh, a little nightstand. I don't know what's. I guess it goes like this. It's a little nightstand. And. Use a film, okay. A little 
vanity thing with the mirror. Of course, these drawers are fake. Of course they would. But you can hold something maybe out if you wanted to. So that's all I have as far as my doll furniture. Um, I'll eventually get some more. I need definitely, I need a lot. I need bathroom stuff. I need bedroom stuff. More bedroom stuff. I have a lot of furniture, so stay tuned for more um, updates on that. But for now, so just throw all that stuff. Sorry, I'm going out of focus there. I'll eventually put the stuff back. Okay, so please focus. Can you focus, please? Auto focus. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> also, I will, since, you know, homegirl is into foot baths and stuff and taking soak in my feet, I got some stuff from Bath and Body Works. So this got all kind of stuff. So let's, also the scent is cherry blossom and jasmine. Very aesthetically pleasing. It even comes in the little bathtub thing, you Um... I don't know, I'll repurpose the bathtub. It's too big for my dollhouse, but I'll repurpose it somehow. Ugh. Excuse me. Okay. So, what we've got here. Come out, please. What is this? A uh, shower gel, which. I will not use this as shower gel, I don't know, body wash, I guess you could say. Probably won't use it that, I'll just use it on my feet, maybe. It smells good. Is this Bath and Body Works? This says Body and Earth, so I don't really know if it was Bath and Body Works. Um, this is lotion, which I could always use more lotion, I've been running out lately. Um... Is this one. Oh, bubble bath. I can use that for my feet. A lot of the stuff we're using for my feet. This is bath salt, which, you know, home goes all about the bath salt as well. I never really appreciated this stuff when I was younger. I used to get this stuff and I was like, what am I going to do with all this? Um, what is this? For decoration? Oh. Like a bath bomb kind of thing, but they're flowers. So you just let it soak and then it dissolves. So it's just for decoration, really. Uh, let's see. This is soap bar, soft soap bar. I guess I'll scrub my feet with it, or put it in the bathroom, and we can. I don't know if I really want the boys to be using it, but soap, body soap. And this is a sh shampoo bar. Never heard of this, but I'll probably use it on my feet. Because I'm probably not going to look and want to use it on my hair. Oof. Scissors. This bathtub out. And I'll repurpose this bathtub. Cardboard. You always got to love that cardboard. But I'll repurpose to put this. Probably just put the stuff back in it. But yeah. It's very nice. Very nice. Oh, it so good. I'll just put this stuff back in here. Use this as my thing for my... I can't put everything, like, I mean, I could put this all back in here like this, so, but I mean, I don't think I could stick all my other stuff in here. As far as my foot stuff, but we'll see. Do I have? Oh, more smelly stuff. I got a candle. This is one from one of my clients. This is Bath and Body Works. Um, both my mom and I received one of these. Ooh, a twisty tie. Mom will probably want to keep this. She's keeping random stuff like this. Crafts and whatnot. Okay, so this smells of winter candy apples. I love this smell. I've had this scented stuff before, and but like lotion. 
Holy crap. Brings back memories. Wish you guys can smell it and just the detail. It is white, but it smells so good. It smells like candy apples. So, this will be burned, of course, in my room, and I am so looking forward to that. That is by White Barn, by the way. So, thank you for the client that gave that to me. I'm so appreciative. And she also got me an Amazon gift card. Again, I'm not disclose, disclosing how much I got from that, and that will be towards probably my dollhouse stuff, so... Um, now the next stuff is mostly junk food or just candy, so... Um, got some chocolate covered cherries, which is one of my favorites. I love... If I'm gonna eat dark chocolate, it's gonna be with something like cherries or mint. I've already opened this one technically, but I got a whole box of God gave you chocolate and so good. So good. So we got milk chocolate hazelnut heaven, milk chocolate cream puff, white chocolate snowflake, milk chocolate almond caramel, dark chocolate ganache bliss, cream brulee truffle, truffle. Dark Lava Cake Truffle and Milk Chocolate Ganache Bliss. They are, I've tried three of them and they are so good. <coughs> Got a lot of chocolate this year. And y'all, I do like expensive chocolate such as this. I would not necessarily pay for it unless I'm spoiling myself. But I do love the expensive chocolates such as Lint, Gardavia, and Gardelli chocolate as well. I also got this, which is a hot chocolate kit. With these, is, this is actual spoon, so you just stick it in hot milk, which I you can do water too, but I prefer milk. And then the chocolate um, thing is on here, and just let it melt, and you can stir it around. Because with marshmallows and chocolate cookies, so good. Oh, my face is gonna break out terribly. And this we got from the church. Um, came with all kinds of random candy, and I mean random. Got cow tails. Kit Kats, which, y'all, this is one of my favorite Kit Kats. It's chocolate, um, mint chocolate. Got Slim Jims, which I love. Um, now these, however, these Lent candies were for one of my clients, but they're so good. Lent candies. Werther's. Gushers. So it's a variation of candy in here. Got Hershey Nuggets. Got random ones of these. Got Dum Dums. You can never go wrong with those. Um, these junior mints were from a client. Uh, Pitsy roll stuff in here. Devil bubble. I had more candy. There's more in here. There's Pitsy rolls. There's Starburst. Now this one, I, we seem to be getting. I don't know who really is into fireballs. I do not like them. So, and I'm not a huge fan of the double bubble. Bubble gum, but that we do have one. It's like chew it for a little while and then it gets hard and lose its flavor. I had the more candy in here, by the way. I just haven't I've eaten some of them. And then I got Reese's in here too. So yeah, that's my. And I plan on getting a few things tomorrow, which most likely be money. And who knows what else. And a few, and I've gotten some more money from my, more of my clients. I've gotten cards, so I have a card display over there. Uh, so people have been very generous, and I've put. I'm so grateful for God and for all those who have given me things. Thank you. You haven't, you didn't need to, but thank you so much for everything. I'm blessed by God. Um, God has been blessing us this year, and I am so grateful for that. So, yeah, that is my Christmas haul of 2021. Um, so, there will be probably some more stuff later. Um, just probably cards and money, so don't really need to film that. I don't know if um, anyone else is sending me out anything or giving me anything, so. But, yeah, and stay tuned for the dollhouse renovations. I will get to that at some point, but stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys are having... A very Merry Christmas. I love you guys. As per usual, I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Keep on smiling. Stay positive. 
and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye.